What's going on guys and welcome back to my Evans Okacha series here on Madden 13 and right now the Dallas Cowboys are sitting third place in the division behind the Giants and the Redskins at four and five but we're in week 11 ready to take on the Cleveland Browns at home in the Jerry Dome ready to make an attempt at going back to 500 and contending with the other teams in this division which always seems to be a very tight race towards the end but of course we have the matchup of two dynamic rookie running backs this year with Evans Okacha and Trent Richardson and so here we go go Cowboys on offense wide open is Jason Witten Romo finds him for an 11 yard gain and that's going to set up a new set of downs at the 31 yard line a few plays later of Cleveland and Romo finds Austin underneath now that's a first down as we enter the red zone for the first time early in the first only about a minute into the game already rolling Romo out of the shotgun he's back to throw he wants to go long to the end zone and uh, typical Romo-esque here it's early in the game and it's an interception by Dimitri Patterson at the goal line and red zone turnovers are just inexcusable and so we get the ball back after a turnover of our own and then Romo goes to the end zone and somehow Miles Austin drops this pass I mean Romo threw a great pass in the end zone you can see right here he's being covered one on one by Joe Hayden safety's coming over but Austin jumps up right here this is a catch but somehow the ball slips out of his gloves and the play results in an incomplete pass, and so Romo back to work now, and okay, Miles, let's drop the easy one, but catch the one where you get sandwiched in the middle of the field. Uh, good logic there. We have uh, Evans Okach now out of the backfield, making a six-yard grab. A great tackle, though, inside the two-yard line to help to keep him out of the end zone, and then he does not punch a ball in on second down, and so we're going to go to third down and goal now, and every team runs this play. The play action fake to the tight end in the corner, and it's a touchdown for Jason Witten. Pretty Pretty automatic if you ask me and so it's seven to seven now and Evans Okacha makes a catch out of the backfield oh my god Joe Hayden just got spun out of his shoes and he's gonna get 17 yards for a first down as Des Bryant gets upended he shouldn't have stood above the the player when he was standing up second down and six now for Romo he goes underneath the Jason Witten and it's gonna fall in complete Joe Hayden on coverage and that goes to third down and then an incomplete Tony Romo pass Results in a Cowboys punt, and we trade punts now. Here is Chaz Henry kicking it back deep to Evans Okacha. And boy, does he have a lot of green in front of him. He's going to go up towards Dallas Star, hook to the left. He's going to go up past the 50-yard line before he is hit hard at the 48. And we're going to go ahead to the 47-yard line now on second down. Jason Witten, the pass is complete, and it's going to be good for seven yards. Setting up third down and short Okacha. Hole opens up at the right side, and he's going to go up between the center and the guard and get a big first down. He only has eight yards on four carries, actually. And then Romo going to the end zone, and uh, John Phillips had an opportunity there, but the safety made a nice play to force an incompletion. And so second and goal for Romo under pressure, and he goes down and so that sets up a third down and long now and an incomplete pass to Miles Austin results in fourth down and Dan Bailey missed the 54 yard field goal so it is 10 to 7 Cleveland now inside of two minutes to go before halftime as the Cowboys are trying to move their way down the field Miles Austin working his way towards midfield with this catch and now a new set of downs at the Cleveland 35 yard line Des Bryant two yards here not really a whole lot of progress but then a five-yard penalty got us a little bit closer, and Dan Bailey did kick a field goal to make it a tie game. Now as we go to the second half, second play out of the quarter, and Okacha takes the handoff of Romo out of the shotgun. He's going to go up to the right side now, gets past Joe Hayden. He's not going to catch him, dives and misses, but then the safety comes over. He has a good angle on him, and it's going to be a huge gain for Evans Okacha going to the seven-yard line of Cleveland now inside of the ten-yard line. Romo over the middle. Miles Austin gets away from Joe Hayden, and it's a touchdown for the Cowboys as they come out of the gates and second half on fire now and it's 17 to 13 as they get the football back Evans Okacha out of the backfield four yard completion second and five pitch outside now looking to get the first down and he's going to go try to get to the yellow marker and he's going to be hit by Johnson as James James Michael Johnson actually on the stop and then Okacha converts on third down and short to continue this drive as Romo comes off of the play action now he's going to take a shot long he's got Miles Austin covered by Joe Hayden and Hayden has great ball skills and he's going to go up and make the interception. He jukes off of uh, Des Bryant falling to the ground and he gets a decent return to the 31 yard line. 
but luckily our defense would hold and we did a good job of damage control with these turnovers and then Des Bryant makes a first down grab at midfield now and Romo's gonna throw it out of the backfield to Evans Okacha and he gets just destroyed five yards behind the line of scrimmage and then Romo does a quick slant and he wanted Des Bryant and he's, instead he finds Sheldon Brown the ex-eagle and the Browns would turn that drive into six points. And so 20 to 17 now. Nice throw by Romo. The linebacker almost caught up to it, but it was a perfect spot for uh, Jason Witten to make that catch. Second down and two. Okacha out of the backfield. The first down grab here in traffic as he's hit by two defenders upon the catch. Now facing second down and 10, Romo taking a shot long again, he wants Dez, and it's knocked away, good coverage, as Bryant goes inside the guardrail there, and I'm not sure where he went, he might have left the stadium, but we end up getting the football now at the Cleveland 23 yard line, must have had a turnover of some sort, maybe a DeMarcus Ware destroyed Brandon Whedon, but it's second down and 14, a draw play now, and a great call here to Wilcacha, gets about 12 yards, bringing up a third down and short now, with just over 6 minutes ago in the game, Romo out of the backfield, Okacha makes the catch and he's going to go into the corner of the end zone and touchdown Dallas as that seems to be kind of the, the hot spot for Evans Okacha when he's close to the end zone there, just run basically a straight line and just look to the end zone and that's not the first time he's scored that way this season. 24-20 now, Dallas, as they have the football there. Control the game, but Romo wanted to take a chance here to Cole Beasley, our fourth wide receiver. It falls incomplete. But now we're like, no, we can't throw the ball, Tony. We got Okacha here. He's going to be running. He's running the ball very well this game. And so we're going to see if he can run clock and help us get this victory. But on third and three, we pass the ball. Slant route, Miles Austin. Great catch. He's rebounded after that drop touchdown in the first quarter. And now we're going to go back to the ground game with Okachi he makes a cut inside about seven yards on the gain now as the clock keeps ticking away as Okacha gets another first down defensive line doing a great job of getting some push and opening up holes for Okacha. Now we're going to go stretch play outside. He makes a cut to the inside, breaks off of Joe Hayden and gets another 8 yard chunk. And so it's not just 3 and 4 yard gains here. Okacha's getting some nice carries including this one where he spins outside and he gets to the Cleveland 11 yard line and now it's time for them to start burning timeouts but they do force a third down and long here where Okacha came off the field and DeMarco Murray had to rush for two yards and Dan Bailey makes it a seven point game and I wish we could show you guys I can show you guys the the plays here but all I can do is do a super sim and our defense holds Cleveland to a turnover on downs a four and out and Dallas gets the victory as Tony Romo takes a knee three interceptions we avenged it Okacha played a big role in this game he and Miles Austin definitely had to be the players of the game. And so it's a 27-20 victory as Dallas does get back to 500 on the season. And in the NFC East, with the way they play football and how tight the race always is, 500 at this point in the season is pretty good. I mean, you're going to be in the race at least. And so next up, we could potentially leapfrog the Redskins with a divisional win if we can beat them at home with the Jerry Dome. And so be on the lookout for that episode, guys. And by the way, the Falcons beat the Cowboys last night, and so the Cacho series is an 8 no crystal ball right now and so keep that in mind as we push forward into the series in the season but anyways guys thank you for watching the video if you did enjoy it please do leave a like and i'll see you guys later